Hey kids, listen up if you want to achieve proficiency or a level three. Our first unit in sixth grade math is ratios and proportions. Now to pass your first test, you need to understand two standards. First is, I can understand a ratio as a comparison of two quantities and how to write them. So, what does that look like? <laughs> so let's say you have a package of 16 hot dog buns and 20 hot dogs, or we'll call them Franks. You'll have to use ratios to compare these two. A ratio can be written three different ways. First is with a colon, 16 to 20. The second is with the word two, so 16 to 20. And the third, like a fraction, which you already know how to write, 16 over 20. All three of these ratios are all part to part. We have our buns and our francs. Now you can also have a ratio that's part to whole, like how many hot dog buns do I have for every complete hot dog? Okay, if you can learn the three ways to write a ratio and understand the ways to compare them, then you pass. <laughs> now the second standard you have to pass has two parts. Making tables of equivalent ratios. And being able to plot those equivalent ratios on our coordinate plane. Equivalent ratios are just like equivalent fractions. They have the same multiplication or division pattern. Our original amount of buns to francs, 16 to 20, is equivalent to four to five, but it's also equivalent to 160 to 200. Now to finish out, we have to put our equivalent ratios into our coordinate plane. First our x-axis, then our y. So when we have four hot dog buns, we have five francs. Continuing on, we have 20 hot dog buns, we have 25 francs. And that's it. You will earn proficiency if you do these three things. Oh.